Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. My bell baby, come with me to the pasture. <laughs> Who's the beautiful blonde, Pat? <laughs> this is my bell. This is one of the gals I was kicking up my heels with at the chin day. You know, the gals was flocking around me like ants at the sugar bowl. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, I must say you cut quite a figure. And were you going to town at that square dance last night? Woo! Chuck Dale. You know, I never saw so much stomping and hooping and hollering all my born days. They was a, a don't see doing, and here we go. I'll take your girl, you take mine, and around we go. Chase that rabbit, chase that squirrel, chase that pretty girl around the world. <laughs> you take your girl, I'll take the mop. When it comes to dancing, I ain't no mop, boy. <laughs> Mabel, you're worse than a broken down fabbing old mare. Why, Pat, you shouldn't talk to a lady like that. Well, didn't you see her deliberately trip me on purpose? Well, she can't see. She's got her hair in her eye. Oh. oh <laughs> Thank you for the dance anyway. It was fun. Even after all the dancing we did last night. Yes, sir. That sure was some shindig. You know, that town hall was so jam-packed. I had to go outside to look at my watch. <laughs> oh, say, it's 10 o'clock already. You going somewhere? No, Geraldine O'Fallon should be coming after the dance money. I promised her I'd keep it in the safe until the bank opened this morning. Oh. Geraldine! <laughs> good morning, Sheriff. Oh, good morning, Mrs. O'Fallon. How's the chairman of the school benefit committee today? Oh, jubilant, Sheriff, jubilant. Do you realize that with the contributions... We raised well over $2,000 at the square dance last night. I'm on my way to pick up the money now. Hey, that's fine. Won't be long now to get that new wing on the school, I reckon. Oh, and we certainly do need it, too. Pat, be careful! Yeah, Speedball, where are you going in such a hurry? To the kitchen. Here comes Miss Geraldine. Why, Pat, she likes you. Yeah, I like her, too. But she scares me. She's a school teacher, and she's always correcting my words. Why, well, Chuck, I can talk as good as anybody. Well, she's just like the rest of the girls. She's got her eye on you. After all, you're one of the most eligible bachelors in town, boy. No, I ain't. And there ain't nobody gonna rope and tie me, not as long as I'm able to stand up and fight them off. Or run and hide. <laughs> Did I hear someone in here say, ain't? Hi, Miss O'Fallon. Good morning. Good morning. I'll get your money. Thanks, Dale. You know, the success of the square dance is all due to you and Roy. I think just about everybody in town turned out and did his bit. I wonder how Patrick Aloysius Brady can be. Oh, I know he's in here because I heard him while I was still outside. Oh, he's busy in the kitchen. Hey, Pat, someone out here to see you. Oh, howdy, Miss Geraldine. <laughs> Good morning. I wonder if you'd do me a favor and accompany me to the bank. I'd feel so much safer while I've got the money. Oh, I'm sure sorry, Miss Geraldine, but I got me a lot of work to do and... Oh, not I got me, please. Yes, ma'am. Er, I mean, miss, I just ain't able to leave now. Hey, <laughs> you know better than that. No, I don't. I can't leave here. Well, of course you can. I'm here. Go on. Oh, you go, Roy. Me? Why, Pat, I haven't even finished breakfast yet. Pat, you mean that you'd rather not accompany me? Oh, no, Miss Geraldine. 
But I'm sure you'd be more safe with Roy, honest. <laughs> oh, he's so charmingly modest. <laughs> Why, Pat, the bank's just down the street. It's safe. Go on. Oh, I'll feel so much safer with you along. <laughs> <laughs> you might feel safer, but me, I'm not so sure. I wonder what she sees in Pat. Oh, he's quite a challenge to her. There's so much room for improvement there. I know what you mean. Like, I ain't at my breakfast yet. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hold it, you two. Oh, Aloysius. Uh, this is Geraldine. Come on, get in here. Real careful. Come on, come on. Screaming, I'll blast you. I really believe you do it, too. You shouldn't point that thing at people. It might go off. You can't take that money. It belongs to the school fund. Hand it over. Oh, hit the lady, huh? Help! 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 Trumbull, on your feet. Doctor, you've got to raise your hands, mister. I got you covered with a rifle. Larry, that a boy, kid. Your brother, huh? You said it. Now drop that gun like he said. Larry, listen to me. You can't do this. Your brother just stole money from the school fund and maybe killed a man. You can't let him get away. Don't listen to him, kid. He's trying to frame me. If I go back with him, I'll be railroaded, maybe hung. You can't take him in, Roy. Now drop your gun. You're making a mistake, Larry. Don't you believe it, kid. You're doing just fine. Now get in your saddle and ride, Sue. Just hold him here till I get a good start. I won't forget this, kid. This puts you right in the middle, Larry. I don't know anything about what Stu has done. Honest. But he's my brother. I couldn't let you take him in. What are you doing out here? This is part of our range. Did you come out here to meet Stu? No, but I'm glad I was here. You helping him escape makes you as guilty as he is. Stu knows that, yet he rode away and left you here to face the music alone. I don't care. You better tell me where he's heading. We've got to find him. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Roy. What's he doing here? Larry Trumbull. Boy, don't tell me he's involved in this. No, it was his brother. But he got away. Well, what's the kid got to do with it? Nothing. But I think we'd better go have a talk with his father. Larry, you ride with me. It's all my fault. I gave both boys everything I could since their mother died. But somewhere along the line, I must have fallen down on the job. We're all sorry this had to happen, Mr. Trumbull. But why? What did I do wrong? Maybe the boys just needed a month. We've got to find Stu. You know that. Now, where would he go? Well, he got in with a bunch of toughies over at Hangtown, but he wouldn't go there. He knows Roy would recognize him. He'd take to the hills. We're about in the hills. Well, I couldn't tell you, but Larry here might. Where would he be, son? I don't know. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. He's in trouble, Dad. But he's killed a man. We can't help him get away with that. 
Right is right. You break the rules, you have to pay for it. But he's my brother. But he's my son. He's gone bad. He stepped over the line and there's no turning back. But Stu always was a wild one. Well, Larry here worshipped him. You mustn't blame this boy for loyalty to his brother. That's natural, no matter how mistaken it is. If we get any information on your boy, we'll contact you, Mr. Trumbull. Thanks, Roy. Poor Mr. Trumbull. I feel so sorry for that man. Roy, why didn't you tell the sheriff about Larry holding you up and letting Stu get away? I just couldn't do it, Dale. Branding that boy with a jail sentence might be the thing that would make him turn bad like his brother. Yeah, that's Stu Trumbull. You know, Miss Geraldine said that I did everything I could to stop him, but I really didn't do nothing. And sure as you're born, she's going to hold it against me. It, uh oh, speak of the devil. Roy, you asked me to keep an eye on Larry Trumbull, but he wasn't in school. I went over to tell Sheriff Blodgett, but he wasn't in. I guess he's gone after Stu. I better see if I can find Larry. I wonder who that nice Patrick Aloysius is. Maybe he could. Well, Pat's pretty busy today. You see, I have to go with Roy, and he'll have to stay here and look after things. I see you, Aloysius. <laughs> well, 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 I'm, I'm re really going to be busy. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Hi. What do you want? Miss O'Fallon said you weren't in school today, and we were kind of worried about you. You mean you thought I'd gone off to meet Stu? Well, we didn't know what had happened, Larry. I would, too, if I knew where he was. Look, Larry, I believed you the first time when you said you didn't know where Stu was. I didn't tell the sheriff then, did I? No. I could have, but I didn't. That ought to prove that I'm on your side. Yeah, I guess so. Larry, why weren't you in school today? Because, well, I can't go there now. All the kids will be talking about Stu, about what he'd done. They'll call me an outlaw's brother. Well, honey, you can't run away from a thing like that. You have to stand up and face it. The thing for you to do is to go back to school and show them you're not like your brother. I am too like him. He's my brother. And I hate school. Why, Larry. I hate you, too. Why don't you all mind your own business? Roy, I know he didn't really mean that. Fundamentally, he's a fine boy. I'm awfully worried about what this experience might do to him. That's why it's so important that we find Stu and clear this thing up. I've got an idea, Dale. When you get back in town, send Pat to the Trumbull Ranch. I'll see you later. Come on, Bullet. Hi, Roy. Pat, I want you to help me guard the house. Larry's threatened to run away and join his brother. What? Well, then he could lead us to Stu, and then we'd get that money back. You know, I sort of feel responsible for losing it. That boy's a lot more important than the money. Listen, how about you guarding the house a while? I'll be back to relieve you later. Okay, but it's going to be mighty lonesome up here. Sure glad you brought Bullet along for company. You be sure and keep him quiet. Hey, there's Stu coming back now. Then he gets inside. We're going to sneak around and try to surprise him. Come on, Bullet. Turn her off, Pat, and coast now. My home, ain't it? Thought you'd be glad to see me. Glad to see you? Not unless you've come back to give yourself up and take what's coming to you. Are you kidding? That'd be a noose around my neck. Sue! Hello, kid. What are you doing here? Wanted to see you and 
Dad, but it seems that I ain't welcome in this house anymore. I don't consider you my son anymore. You can't turn him away like that. He needs help. I got some friends waiting up in the hill. Thought maybe you could hide us a few days till things died down. Friends, cheats, and thieves like yourself. Now get out of here before I call the sheriff. I kind of expected my own father to stand by me. Stay away from that telephone. I'm leaving. Then take me with you. Larry. Okay, come on. No, no, son, you can't do this. If Stu goes, I'm going with him. No, you can't, Larry. I won't let Who's you. Who's going to stop him? I am. Trouble the kid might be taken. I'm afraid he talked too much. Don't worry about Larry. I'll take care of him. Yeah? What's he got to lose? He ain't facing no murder rap like the rest of us. Somebody's got to take care of Rogers and that joker with him. We figure this is just a job for the kid. And if he comes through, that'll show us he can cut the mustard. Why, you... I'll do it! I'll do it! Okay, kid. And don't try any funny stuff if you want to see your brother again. Now get going. You know where they are. Oh. We'll give them a couple of minutes see what happens. heard any shots yet. Maybe that kid's gonna double cross us. Watch him. Thanks. Where are they? Back in the camp. You mustn't try to take Stu. You've got to get out of here fast. The horse is tied up out in back. You ain't going nowhere. I guess that old saying, never send a boy to do a man's work is right. I guess I'll have to finish it. Hold it, Rogers. One move out of you and I blast the kid. You pull that trigger and I'll put one right between your eyes. 
You stick your noses out of this cave and there'll be someone outside waiting for you. Cut Rogers and his pal loose. Now we're really in a bind. Hey, you better give me a hand. Your dad and the sheriff are closing in on us. Give me a gun. No, Dad's down there. You can't shoot at him. Can't we? You're both on the wrong side, kid. Scoo! Scoo! <laughs> Give me a hand. Hey, all quiet up there. Let's move in on Trumbull. You better stay here, Dale. Oh, no, I'll be all right. take chances like that, charging in here like he is a U.S. Marines. Why, a fella could get hurt. I knew you were right behind me. And Larry took a big chance when he set us free. Come on, son. Hey. Hey, here's the school fund money. Larry. No. He's dead, Mr. Trumbull. He died to keep them from killing me. That proves he wasn't so bad, doesn't it? Sure, son. Sure. You just got a bad start, that's all. You go ahead, Mr. Trumbull. We'll take care of things here. Thanks, Roy. Hi, Roy. Hi, Ben. How's our hero today? Oh, shucks. I ain't no hero. But every time I get to thinking about what happened up there at that hideout, I get to shaking like one of them quivering aspirin trees like they got up in the high Sierra. Is that oh. what's making you shake now? <laughs> no. Here comes Dale and she's got Geraldine with her. I'm going to go. No, wait a minute. Oh, Roy, let me go. Is this any way to act when a lady's coming to call on you? <laughs> you know, Larry's just fine now. Because of what he did, he's won the admiration of his schoolmates as well as his own self-respect. Oh, that's wonderful, Geraldine. You know, saving Larry and boys and girls like him from making a wrong start is about one of the most important things that we grown-ups can do. Hello, <laughs> I've been wanting to thank you for recovering the school fund. <laughs> oh, it's just Geraldine. Or, I mean, Miss Geraldine, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't anything, Pat. Well, you say so. Oh, it was something. Well, now, just a minute. You just said yourself it wasn't anything. Well, it was a very heroic deed. You were wonderful, both you and Roy. And I think you've earned the reward. I have? Mustard and custard! 
<laughs> Poor boy, I'm so shy. Oh no, Geraldine. Why, Pat's just as excited as a young schoolboy. I think you're right. <laughs> You'll never get me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy trails to you, till we meet.